Well, we are here in Shillington, Pennsylvania today, and we are at the Goodwill. I'm about to head in and see if I can find anything to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady, and welcome to my channel. So it looks like we're gonna have a wet cart today. <laughs> but at least it is not a sled cart or a clicky cart, so we're in pretty good shape. Okay, so I don't see anyone out currently restocking, but we will spend some time checking out the shelves and hopefully they'll push out some new carts. That's a really pretty bowl. <laughs> it's probably a TJ Maxx or something. Bird bath on steak. Oh, interesting. So this is intended as a bird bath, I guess. Well, you look at this thing. That's so fancy. <laughs> it's all glued together. I think this is a um, Fostoria candlestick. And then you got this, what is that? Yeah, Homer Laughlin. It's very, very in, um, curious. The duck's still here. There's another duck, $2.99. This is a wall pocket. Chase Japan. Yeah, that's probably eight to twelve dollars. I don't really need it though. The giant skull plate is still here and it probably still weighs about 30 pounds. Those bears are definitely fun. Made in China. Something bear collectible or something to that effect. It's been used, well loved and used. You can see all the scratches on that. Here is a Richards print. Uh, we have two of these in our booth right now, or maybe three of them even. It's like $2.99, wedding couple. Uh, I don't know, the other ones haven't sold yet, but this one is small and easy to ship. I know the larger ones sell for $30 to $45. This one's, you know, I'm thinking 12 to 18. It's a nice print. Those look like they could be German. Not seeing any markings on them though, unless it's hidden under the sticker. I wasn't finding much in the hard goods, so I kind of ventured, ventured on. I just found this. And I'm wondering if that would fit Juliet. It looks like it's handmade. There's no tags on the inside. I think somebody made that. It has really cool buttons on it. Is too fun. I'm wondering if Juliet would fit in that. And if not, the other one will eventually fit in it, right? I don't think that tin was there earlier. This is $1.99. It's got kind of a Pennsylvania Dutch look to it, and the graphics on it are still good. $1.99. I almost wonder if the um, lid here is actually reversed and it also has that design on it. Here's one of those little houses, David Winter. It is a David Winter, Winter cottage. Um, it's 1983. Every time I find this, it's always chipped in some way or another. And this piece is no exception. There is a bag of thimbles down here. I can't neglect the thimbles. The last time we found thimbles, Dagny got a few sterling silver ones out of there. But these just look like Eh, average. There is a cloisonne thimble in there, but lots of porcelain. I don't think there's anything real special there. There's a whole bag of Homeco puppies. Yeah, that marks Homeco, they're $2.99. Ah, oh, that one's got a broken head. Oh, that's a shame. I'll move those up a little bit so somebody else can find them. I kind of like the looks of this lamp, but the closer I get to it, the more I realize it's probably more contemporary. It's a nice desk lamp. $4.99. It's very weighted down here though, so it's heavy. All right, well, after all that, I think that's it for me. Probably gonna head on down the road with my three things. Okay, well, that was anticlimactic. Our total spend there at the Goodwill was $9.58. I bought three things, 
I think that little print uh, is probably going to double our money in and of itself. And uh, the Pennsylvania Dutch tin should do all right as well. The jacket, I'm excited to see if it fits Juliet. I feel like it might be too small, but we will see. I think I'm going to get out of here now. Um, I'm going to be passing through Adamstown on the way home. So I figured that we would, uh, we would pick up this adventure at an antique mall. We are here now at the Mad Hatter Antiques. Uh, it's been a few weeks since we were here last, and uh, the last few times we've been here, we've bought a lot of stuff. So I'm hoping they have some new treasures for us to discover, and uh, let's head in. You could have probably guessed which booth I was going to start with, and sure enough, here we are in the mid-century booth with all the beautiful lucite. This booth just makes me so happy. Uh, we're gonna see if there's anything new in here. Oh, this looks like 138. We just got one of these for like 60 something dollars the other day, so that makes me feel good. Like I got a good deal on that one. The other day when I was at Pine Valley Antiques, I found an ashtray that was very similar to this and I couldn't um, identify the name on it. I'm like, what does that say? But here, this one is actually marked. It's Mark Belair Ashtray. Dancers, Mardi Gras, $110. I think uh, this is a California pottery. Yeah, California pottery. Um, $110. I'm not sure on that though. What is happening right now? <laughs> You remember this? This is a new one. It's $58. The last three I had um, sold upwards of $200 and this is exactly where I got them. I got, I've had three out of this booth and this is the booth that keeps on giving because that's 58 bucks. I'll take it. The last time I came through this booth, I ended up buying like five or six things. I figured it was definitely worth taking another peek and seeing if there's anything new in there. I do see some new things in here. I don't remember these stylish clowns being here. Ooh, be careful, they wanna jump right off there. I really love this guy. What is that? Berman and Anderson, Fifth Avenue. Is it marked there? Uh, I can't really see. Yeah, I think it just says Anderson. Berman and Anderson, reindeer? Reindeer Christmas runs slow, made in Japan. It's so endearing. It's $40 though. This one looks like it might be a Holt Howard. 10 bucks. Oh, this one is also um, a music box, but the lid has been repaired. What is this guy? Oh, he's got a broken tail. Why? He's so cute. That is a fantastic West Germany vase. What do they call it? Fat Lock? base post World War II rare. Um, $350. I have one similar to this uh, in my sunroom right now that I found at Goodwill. This booth always has lots of fun pottery so we have to peek through here. I kind of like the looks of that one. What is that mark? Mara. Mara etched base. $48. So a lot of the times I will find the Mara coffee mugs. I believe they are made in Mexico. In this case, we've got a Mara um, vase. I don't think I've ever seen the vases before. Etched man. Is that a man? I can't tell. There's another one of those ashtrays. Now I'm gonna find them everywhere. $48 on that. I feel like some of you may recognize this vase right here because we've been finding a lot of it on the channel. It's $36 and we're gonna turn it over. There's the scribbles. Uh, this is a Bill Campbell vase. A lot of you have commented a little bit more about Bill Campbell um, on my videos and the fact that they are no longer in business. But uh, Bill Campbell, and I, I believe it was made right here in Pennsylvania, so that's probably why I find so much of it. It's only $36. We've been doing pretty well with our Bill Campbell, so I think that's worth picking up. Let's see what else we can find here. I've seen this before. What is this? Austria, right? Smithsonian Institution Repro Art Nouveau. Eh, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Look at this. Jamestown glass. Wow. <laughs> it's really intricate. I think that whoever has this booth is either an artist or they know an artist because every time I come through here, there are new artworks of all similar style. Um, this is McCarthy, is what it's signed, O.P. McCarthy, and a lot of the tags say Pam, so I imagine this is her work. And I just love the whimsical 
uh, character of these paintings. Lots of bunnies. That one looks like it's sold. The puppy dog. It's got lots of character. So I just love coming through here and checking out her artwork. General Electric. Isn't that fun? What is that? That is a General Electric Zoo Clock Radio, $49. And you can see the hand is spinning, so it is working. That is just so neat. I kind of like it. I, I might look it up. Uh, but I'm also thinking that's a great decor piece. Even though my children probably can't tell time um, on that clock because it's not digital. <laughs> those real quick. That's why I was actually over here. This is ten dollars. It's got some nice uh, purple spots on it. <laughs> for only ten bucks. All right, what is that up there? Oh, that's Betty Boop. Oh, that somebody made that. Huh. I think somebody actually did the artwork on that Betty Boop um, hand painted bag. It's kind of fun. I've never really done much with Betty Boop, so it's not something I gravitate towards. This is a beautiful purple ashtray. It's kind of a lavender color, $18. This booth has so many great things in here. It's hard to focus because everything's sparkling. Okay, so I just noticed the little flowers on the top of this jar. Oh, uh, porcelain flowers. And uh, the jar is actually metal, but it's $20. It's a nice decorative piece. I think I'm gonna take it. Oh my gosh, what has happened? There are amazing, beautiful Hager lamps. And oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I need them all, all of them. Except for this one, I think I have that one. This is epic. What even is this thing? There's no signatures on it. That looks like something good. That looks like something really good. What is it? It kind of the the features remind me a little bit of Bjorn Windblad, but I don't I don't think it is. Looks like maybe Sweden or Denmark. I'm obsessed. This needs to come home with me. There's no price on it. I don't know what the price is. It's a little scary, but I'm definitely gonna grab at least four of those lamps. There's no prices on these lamps. So I don't know how much they want for them. I gotta find out how much the lamps are. <laughs> and that other green person lady. All right, so I am about to check out and um, the green man ended up being uh, $300. I'm still buying it because I just got a feeling about it. I'm trying to figure out. Um, <laughs> the Hager lamp was $125, which unfortunately I couldn't really do um, and still make a profit. If I was buying it for myself, I would have paid that. I can't figure out the cord situation here. Um, but I did remember this. I was standing in the checkout. I was like, oh yeah, there's, wait, there's one more thing I wanted to grab. But I have to figure out <laughs> all the cords look the same. All right, so I'm gonna take this guy home with me. It's too cute to leave behind. All right, the tiger radio clock has been acquired. <laughs> Pretty thrilled with that. Okay, well I decided to bring you guys back to the shop because that was kind of a short shopping trip. Uh, so Andrew went and picked up an auction haul yesterday. Uh, we are still buying at auction. I'm not sure if that's going to continue or not um, since I feel like the weight of all of the listing is on my shoulders right now. Uh, we did purchase $1,200 worth of things and I've unloaded them onto the cart and I figured we would go through them together. So. Let's get started, here we go. So you can see I've been making some progress with organizing and trying to pull stuff out. <laughs> I've created my little area here where I've been pricing stuff for the antique malls. Uh, this here is all of the stuff from auction, minus the boxes that I have already dispersed onto the carts here. Um, so I still have these to go through, but um, I'm gonna take you over the carts and we're gonna go through that. 
So this cart right here is just kind of some odds and ends. Obviously, there's some larger pieces here. Uh, these two lanterns I bought for myself. You're going to notice I bought quite a few things for myself and for the new house. But I bought these for myself uh, because we have a, a covered porch. And I thought that these would look really nice on the covered porch. So I purchased both of these. They're kind of like a Moroccan style. Different colored glass. This I uncovered while I was rooting through boxes. Um, we bought this at least two months ago, uh, but it is a Tramp Art box. It's got some age to it. You can see it was Marie's box. Little drawers and everything. Has to be expected with Tramp Art, though. There is some damage here. It's got some age, though. And then the other, the other box I uncovered was this one. And this one has an Asian design on it. I'm not really sure how that opens. There's a hinge here and there's a hinge here. It's very tricky. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, wait, what is happening? I didn't know this was a thing and now I do. Does it go like that? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it's doing, it's very cool. So this is just like a, a lacquer box with a fancy mirror well that's cool what else does it do <laughs> so there's little drawers on there and then there's a something going on there I don't know if it opens oh wait nope that's just for carrying it with I don't know yeah they go the full length of the box so anyway that was that was kind of cool didn't know it did that. Uh, so <laughs> these two boxes were in a box that I found, and we'll probably get those listed. This, I just realized, has some damage to it. I bought a lot of um, of stuff. The reason I bought the lot was because of this piece right here. It was an as-is lot, and I think it was because this guy had a chip on it. But because the auction said as is, I think it scared off other people. <laughs> but I noticed this was in the lot, and this was not as is. It's a beautiful green iridescent glass. And it has these figures painted in gold. I don't know who makes it. I just thought it was very neat. And I think I got the whole lot for $10. So totally worth it. This one is a cut glass. You can tell it's cut because it's kind of sharp. <laughs> so it's cut glass. Oh, that one does have a chip there on the on the bottom. So this one was also as is. But it was included in that lot. I was kind of wondering if it was real sterling, unmarked. But I'm not sure. I'll have to have Andrew take a closer look at that. Um, here, this is a Kaiser vase. It's usually the giveaway is this uh, bisque finish. There's some florals on there. It's a really nice art pottery vase. And I think it's Anderson and Sons. It's a flambe, I think is what you would call that color. So oh, I thought that was very nice. Now these I paid $15 for. And my intention was I can get those frames and I can hang them in the nursery because they're just really fun. They're old. You can see they're embossed and uh, a child painted or like drew on them maybe with crayon I don't know but there's some duplicates in there so I think I might sell off the duplicates um, you can see there's another pair of piggies those two are matchy matchy there's another one so there are some duplicates that I'll probably uh, probably sell but I just thought they were very sweet I bought those. And then I'm going to bring you guys over here. Oops, there's my salter. <laughs> so you might recognize this. We recently had a hippo that was very similar. Um, this is a Vertil Valian. Um, and this is Costa Boda. It's one of those flat animals. This... I kind of bought for myself, but I'm debating whether I need it or not. Uh, it's a very Art Deco style uh, painting or, or drawing. And there's a little mouse and there's an owl up in the tree. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's a page out of a coloring book. But in any case, I liked the scenery. So I bought that. 
This is another Costa Boda piece. You can see it is signed there on the bottom. And um, what is it? Uh, Beckstrom, I think is the name of the artist. I recently sold a bowl that uh, I don't remember if that one was signed, but it matched this candlestick. So when I saw the candlestick, I knew what it was. And the bowl sold pretty well, so I was excited to have the candlestick. Now, the pieces here were in a lot. And I can't remember exactly how the lot was split up. I know that the giraffe was included with some of the figurines. I think the paperweights were by themselves. But there are some really neat paperweights here. This one is really cool. It's marked Laser, L-A-Z-E-R, 1998. Now, unfortunately, there is a fracture here where it banged up against something. I mean, it's smooth. You can kind of feel it. Uh, it's not a chip, but it is damaged. So that was kind of a bummer. This one is Murano. There's remnants of a sticker there on the bottom, and it's just a beautiful floral. This one also had a fracture there, a chip there. So that was disappointing as well. This one was not marked. This was faceted. Oh, there's a little bit of chipping on that as well. Uh, this one is signed on the bottom. It's initialed anyway. MSH it looks like. An egg paperweight. So, um, oh, and then finally this is Joe Rice, right? Yeah, Joe Rice, 1995. This is a bowl. This bowl has been hand painted on the outside. It has some age to it, I would say, but I'm not sure where it comes from. This is a Stingle Pottery Bird. There's numbers here that if you look up those numbers, you can uh, kind of figure out what kind of bird it is. This one looks like it's got a repair on its beak though, so that's a shame. But the bird came with the dog, and the dog is Copenhagen, Denmark. I got a few loose screws. I know you do. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people that know that. <laughs> you know, these are all the screws from your table and chairs, and I went to pick up, I had to take the legs off. Oh yeah, don't lose those. Kind of sort of need these. Yeah, that would really suck if we didn't have those. Yeah, maybe just tape them to the table, I'm so. I'm going to tape them to one of the legs. Okay, good idea. So. We don't want those going missing. Uh, so this is a Copenhagen doggy. <laughs> He's, I love his face. He makes me giggle. Uh, this one is Denmark. I think this is also Royal Copenhagen. It could also be Bing and Grandal. It's a squirrel with pointed ears. This is an elephant. And the elephant came with the donkey. And I kind of almost wonder if they were together. And it's some sort of political statement. This one says Taws. Taws Victory. Is this political? Taws? Mm -hmm. Taws Victory? Um, I think it is actually because the donkey would re represent the Democratic Party. Okay. So Andrew has spoken. I'm pretty sure if you, if you Google Taws political, it's, it's probably going to pop up. There you go. Uh, here's Northwood Bowl. Birds on it. I didn't realize this had a bird pattern on it because it, when it was pictured, it was pictured like this. So that was kind of a fun surprise to open the box and see those birds on it. And this is Northwood. You can see the marking there at the bottom. Maybe. This little guy looks like he might be Hagen Reneker, but he's got some boo boo on him. Small little. Oh, I didn't realize that was even signed. Crown of Staffordshire, made in England. Okay, there you go. Little trinket box. This is a Satsuma kitty, made in Japan. And then this I was thinking could be a finger bowl, a uh, Victorian finger bowl for cleaning your fingers after meals. Not positive though. Usually they have an underplate. Uh, we don't have an underplate. And this. Finally, um, it is Waterford. It is Waterford Evolution. You can see the variation in the colors between the purple and this amber. It's a really nice bowl. 
And uh, I can't remember which lot it came out of, but that was one of the pieces that I was excited about in that lot. So that's everything um, in the first, I think, two, three boxes just because we had big stuff. And then I still have boxes over here to go through, but I'm going to save these for another day and uh, look through those. I've got some artwork as well. Um, I guess I'll just show you this over here. This one I really liked. <laughs> I didn't realize that it wasn't finished. You can see there it still has the color. I mean, it's still colorful, but it doesn't have the thread like this one does. I just liked that, and I thought that would look really cute at our new house. Some pansies. And this one was a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of sentimental for me, because uh, when I was, I don't know, like 10 to 16, uh, we lived in Rhode Island, and there was a mill down the road from us with a, a pond, and we would go ice skating on the pond. So I saw this, and I thought, you know what, I kind of kind of digging that uh, and then this came with it old mill oil $250 originally so that was the artwork those were the carts and this is what we have remaining thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video in case you spotted something you just can't live without we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description